Good morning and welcome to Fleet Services. So why am I going to London? Well, in a moment of madness, maybe, um, I sent a message to uh, another YouTube um, vlogger, somebody who's been doing it for a very, very long time and um, I've been following for quite a while uh, and he just seems like a really nice chap. So um, I sent him a, a message and said, do you fancy meeting up for a coffee? And um, he came back and said yes. So. Uh, here I am on my way to see James Cook. Well, I'm coming off the M25 now into the service area, very glamorous location. The service is on the side of a motorway to meet. Uh, so yeah, I'm, what am I, 10 minutes early? Right, so I have actually found him now. And um, hey there, how are you doing? Uh, and I'm getting car envy from the start. Um, very nice to meet you, how are you? Thank you. Excellent. Um, so this is Ryan. Hi. And the uh, uh, channel is EV Opinion. That's right, yes. Uh, is it alright if I video you with this as well? Would that be okay? Because you're used to it now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, thank you. I'm okay. You know, as appetising as it looks. <laughs> so, so I have literally just turned up and seen this, and I now have complete vlogging envy. This is obviously taking years to set up uh, with, and I'll, I'm going to have to put a post a picture on mine, but um, my little camera against all this. This, this is, is just this is just how I roll. I mean, yeah. This is not this isn't going to be that great because the camera angles are all wrong because I've only got a small table and uh, yes, I, mean, I could go up there actually and improve things, but you just have to be a little bit surreptitious when you're in a cafe. Stay out the way. Your recording bit. studio. So you drive a um, 24 kilotown SME, is that right? Yeah, so I've had it for just over two years, um, which, you know, I had no idea about anything to do with electric cars. In fact, the first electric car I ever saw was probably about three and a half, four years ago when I was driving along with a friend and a Tesla was in front of us, a Model S. And um, we both said, that's a really nice car. No idea what it was whatsoever. And um, of course, we got on Google and realised Wow, no idea that you could have a car, be charged, yeah, a, a battery car, and it would go that far. What I did, and this worked like a charm, is I made soap go everywhere in the Nissan Leaf. Yeah. And after two years, she was like, Will you please buy a Tesla? <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's what you heard. <laughs> no, no way the boss was going to let me get away with that otherwise. No, no. And um, I mean, obviously, the, how you got it is very fortunate. I mean, it's just a lovely car. Absolutely yeah, stunning. It's great. Yeah. Just so it limbs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> just like a playground, Jasper. It's because every time we ever go anywhere, we seem to start our day at South Limbs. <laughs> oot and why not? We used to in the Nissan Leaf. Uh, yeah, get a charge before right, you go. Here, here we are. Look, right. This is an SM. Here you go. Would you like to come and sit inside it? Yeah. Should be all charged up by now. Yeah. Do you want to sit in the driver's seat? There you go. How's that? Yeah. You can't get in. Right, you ready? One, two, three, up. There you go. All right. Wow. Yeah, we'll close the door. <laughs> the worst land off of this it's smashed on the side. See, I like that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think the headlights look right. Right, so I think from the front, it looks a bit bulbous and I'm not overly keen on it. I like the side because I like the wheels um, well, I and I like the back of it. Uh, but it's funny, isn't it? It, it really does polarise well, people. I find the three four select, it looks kind of wasty and futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because my, my pet traffic law that I hate the most is the electric skateboard one. I think that's totally ridiculous. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a it's one of those rules which ironically works really well the way it's set up provided policemen bear in mind the common yeah. sense principle which and is that, that basically i mean i ride my board on the road and on the yeah. pavement but what i do is i live by the by the approach that if somebody complains yeah. then whatever i was doing was wrong yes provided nobody complains it's fine. Who are you upsetting? Who are you bothering? It, it doesn't matter, exactly. does it? it yeah. you know. And like you say, there's some common sense, isn't there? If you're riding down the middle of a A road using you know, power, well then you're probably not in the best place because you're or holding traffic up. Power. Or even not, yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. And equally, that's why the law works quite well, because then if you do get some kind of 14-year-old, you know, 
being an idiot and yeah. running over old ladies. And then, the laws there to you, be yeah. used, definitely. But it also means that you can't, you know, that businesses can't get behind it in a responsible way. Yeah, because you how know. can you push something that's against the law? You know, exactly. If you go into the letter of it. Is that for me? Nah. Thank you. And it is, it's, um, there's your head. And I suppose what makes it a shame in that respect is it means that you can't promote it. I you know, can't the government, see local again. government councils can't promote it as yeah. a way of um, getting people off the roads in their cars. And that's what, and that's it's what you perfect want to do. For that, of course actually. it is, yeah. Look, Thomas is going to be very jealous that you're sat not only in the front but in his chair as well. Look, I'll tell you what, look, give him a wave, say, hello Thomas, I'm in your chair. Hello Thomas, I'm in your chair. <laughs> You'll think that's very funny. <laughs> I miss my Nissan Leaf. It's weirdly it's such a lovely car. I mean, yeah, yeah, you've gone way beyond that, but um, but I don't miss the nice range car. of it. No, you know that was always the problem. Was it didn't have the energy storage. That's it. Well, you know, yeah, ninety-seven percent. I've got seventy-nine miles based on I miss what I've just been doing. My That's the other thing I always found about the Nissan Leaf is it it seemed to lose range very quickly at motorway speeds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whereas the Tesla doesn't seem to. That one, I love that one. Yeah, but this one, really nice. getting around. This is the whole reason I asked to meet up. I just wanted to see a skateboard, nothing else. <laughs> oh. I can see the, you mean about the flex in it? Yeah. Right, this is how it's done. Ah, yeah. So light as well. You know, you expect it to be really heavy. Right. I'll say bye-bye to him. Bye-bye, mate. Lovely to meet you. You have a safe bye trip bye home. Bye-bye, mate. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> Excellent. Right, brilliant. Right, well, it's Lovely been an absolute you. pleasure to meet you. Thank you ever so much. Cheers. Really, really appreciate well, it. It's been great. And um, I should get to see your car as well. Yeah. But, well, I really enjoyed that. It was really nice to meet him. Um, and he was genuinely a really nice chap uh, very easy to chat to he was very kind of obviously knowledgeable about not only sort of youtube stuff but also about uh evs how the workings of them um i learned all sorts today and i've now got a list of equi equipment that i need to buy um i say need to buy uh, i want to buy <laughs> i think ultimately the point of meeting up with james was to get a better understanding i guess from somebody who who's been in the same position as me albeit a long time ago so my hope was a bit of a meeting and a chat maybe I could sort of leapfrog some of those stages so I was just thinking if there was one thing that I could say that I've really kind of taken from today's meeting uh, it would be planning and the reason I say that I kind of went with a very blasé attitude of um, I'm really looking forward to meeting James Cook now I don't know if he came with a plan or whether he just kind of devised a plan ad hoc while we were there but there was, there was a certain amount of structure to what he was doing. And I don't know if I really recognised it at the time. Looking back now, what I wish I'd done was talked a bit more about his Tesla. There's bits about that car that I'm really interested in, but I, I didn't even think to ask him at the time. And, um, you know, I think had I've gone with, not even written it down, just something in my head to say, these are the topics I want to cover whilst I'm with James, and then I can structure my video as a result of it. For three and a half hours it's taken me to get back from London, uh, all the way back down to the south coast here. And I'll tell you what, seeing a view like that really blows away the, uh, the driving cobwebs. It's stunning down here. Hello! I saw that! Well done! Oh, you okay? Do you fun? Yes, Thomas, you're surfing! <laughs> Well, the sun's going down now, the sausages are nearly ready, uh, and that brings an end to a, a thoroughly enjoyable day for me. So um, all I have to say is if you've enjoyed today's vlog, remember to like and share it, and if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!